neno ambalo ukiliamini litakusaidia kile unahitaji a word of faith that if you believe what i am saying hiyo neno bila kusaidiwa na chochote litakusaidia kile unahitaji wewe unahitaji uponaji unahitaji amani unahitaji ushindi katika maeneo fulani hiyo neno ndiko na uwezo wa kukuzalia hiyo neno la imani ndio maana katika kwa church unajua kwa nini mimi huyu siko anataka kuja hiyo kama unajua hiyo ndio neno ni vile huwezi kupita worship ndio nimeiba lakini kwa sababu haleluya neno ni nyingi huko haleluya ni wimbo wa kila wakati Praise the Lord. Amen. Sasa sisi wakati unaona tukikuja kwa nyumba ya Bwana, mali popote si hapa. Any time utajiona uko kwa nyumba ya Bwana, ninataka wewe unajua hivi. Huwa tunakutana kwa nyumba ya Bwana na kuna mtu amekuja na sandaka ya shukrani. Are we together church? Yes. The same same time ambapo mtu amekuja na sandaka ya shukrani kuna mtu anakuwaka kwa nyumba ya Bwana na anaangalia ndani ya moyo the same same day the same same day kuna mtu anakuja anakuwaka kwa nyumba ya Bwana anashangilia vile unaona kwa hapa kuna watu wanashangilia kwa yale Mungu ametenda kwa maisha yake sisemi amen the same same church mali unaona tuko kuna mtu akona uzuri sana kuna mtu akona vita nyingi sana inamuelekea lakini wewe tunakutana kwa sababu roho mtakatifu anatujua sisi sote. Wacha nitumie Biblia niwalize ile kitu ndio kwa leo. Niko na wakati mzuri. Ndugu yetu Bwana akubariki. Mnakumbuka maana ile ilikuwa inaliwa na wana wa Israeli kwani? Sema ndiyo, unakumbuka? Hiyo maana ilikuwa inaanguka nje nje. Kwa kiamka asubuhi wanakuta inaanguka kila mahali. Alafu mtu anaenda anachukua ile anataka. Ile yake, ile yake na wanaambiwa usichukue ya siku mbili. Yaani mtu alikuwa anachukua ile ya kwake. Kwa hivyo sikiza vile unaona tuko kwa nyumba ya Bwana, wewe utachukua ile ya kwako. Na usijaribu kutukulia mtu mwingine maana atuseme fulani angekuwepo leo hiyo neno ni lake wewe. Chukua maana ya kwako wewe ni mbaya. Are we together church? Word of faith. Jesus Christ our priest. Yesu Kristo kwa nyote anaweza mambo yote. Na tunisha hiyo kitu. What is a church according to the revelation which by his our sister eh, eh, when she was in his spirit. The Bible says in the book of revelation inasema nilikuwa katika roho siku ya Bwana na nikapata ufunuo. What is a church? Sikaanza aanza. What is a church? Church is Church is something is it something or somebody? Eh? Eh? Kwani amekuwa mimi ndio nilikuwa church yangu. Mimi nauliza what is a church? According to the revelation. Jonah, Jonah, Jonah alikuwa katika kisiwa cha Patmos. Na ukisoma kitabu cha Ufunuo cha Tawani verse 1 inasema I was in the spirit siku ya Bwana. Na nitapata ufunuo. What is a church? Church is somewhere where some people are talking about church. Church is somewhere you can live on. On live. Angalia huko. I'm trying to live in Bible. Somewhere church is somewhere you can live on. Na kanisa sio hii kwanza wa jana hii mabati ni mabati inatuzia kutomeka. Kanisa ni wewe maisha. You are a church. So sikiza the revelation symbol and clear. Church is somewhere somebody kanilino. Kanilino na asifanye niongeze. Na asikie ako comfortable. Nataka unisaidie kumbilia jirani yako. Come somebody ni oni mwambie na kizuri. Amesoma wewe unaona kama atasoma. Can somebody lean on you? Can somebody lean on me? Pasa. 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 Pasa.
as our family. May the Lord help the church that men and women can lean on us. Amen. Amen. Wewe ndiye umebeba uponyaji kwa ile brochure unakaa. Wewe ndiye umebeba uponyaji kwa hiyo kazi, hiyo kaburi unafanya kazi. Yeye si tu hapa ndiyo tumebeba uponyaji wa church. But really Praise the Lord. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 14 ni sala 3. Ibrania mlango wa 4 kumi na hile pa kumi na sita na yaba wato fe for all of us ukija kwa kanisa uwa unamini unamini mungu na unamini mungu na unamini neno kwa na spirit tunakuja uwa tunakuja ili tulisho spiritual na tuile defend spiritual it is our spirit haka yako umesikia mwane wako your spirit imefunjika hake unamua sasigine yesterday ama juzi unaweza kuwa vile vitu umepata nani hata ile kukosesha mali listen to the word now nilikuwa ngoja mfike hebrew chapter 4 verse 14 let us read seeing then that we have a great high priest kuona ya kwamba tuko na kuani mkubwa that is passed into the heavens yeye ambaye ameingia na huko mbinguni mashuhuri wao washaa kwa kwa hii dunia they died na wakakabili tukianza na Daudi tukianza na Ibrahim Waseme wote hata babu yako. Waseme wote watu wa kuna heshima hawajaweza kupenya wakapasua. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But we, hebu sema sisi. Tuko na kuani mkuu wa dofi. Amen. Tuko na neno la imani. Tuko na kuani mkuu ambaye sio limited na anjasiwa yeye yeah, amepasua mpaka beyond amepasua mbingu zote amen bwana sifiwe inasema tusijatie kwa makini imani tunaloiungana unajua bali kwanza utamaliza na kigezo yes bwana sifiwe kwa sababu tuko na kwani aliyeingia mpaka mbinguni Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu ile kupasua ambao Yesu alipasua it was kwa sababu ya kanisa na wale watu watamwamini wasije wakazuiliwa na nguvu za kanisa wasije wakashindwa na zile vitu ambazo zinashinda watu because they believe imani yao naiweka kwa ule kwangu bwana sifiwe amen i want you to repeat it with understanding ndio ujue ni nani anayekupigania vita zako maana uko nazo nyingi hapa baada tunakukosesha amani ukimba ulimi vizuri ukicheka unacheka kidogo amen ushaka ushaka hii mambo kwa kila shida anacheka kidogo bali bali kicheko ni kuonyesha na huyu mtu hapo na shida wacha nisana vizungu na umesaidia kuambia jirani yako chia up Sio. Sio. Yule aje. Na Kiswahili. Sia a because we are priest. Now we are living by the my brother Richard. We are priest now. Neno la imani. So then we must cling in a faith. Tuna oh, ndio mzoma bibi ya mzuri sana wewe. Mpigie Yesu mahoki bwana sio sana. Amen. We must therefore we must cling in the faith in the faith to all we know to be true because we know to be true for we have a magnificent a magnified king priest because we have a magnified king priest king priest 
Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The Son of God. So, so we are supposed to do what? Because we are a priest yes. who is magnified. Yes. What you are supposed to do, you, is to clean. you are supposed to clean in faith. In faith. Mm. What is it? 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 Kama mtu alijaribiwa kwa kila kitu 
just as we have. But he conquered the sea. He conquered the sea. Prophet ni kona shida. We what? Sema neno laimani. Sema neno laimani usitoke. Sema neno laimani. We have a priest ambaye anaandazana all humanity tutazoka kizungu yoro hiyo mwanamke na mtoto. He understands all humanity. Na anitaribiwa kwa kila hali. Alafu yeye akafanya nini? Richard Mbiawa akafanya nini? He understands humanity for as a man, our magnificent king priest was tempted in every way just as we have and he conquered the sea. Now hear me my brother, my sister yangu. Because you are priest conquer. Yes. If you cling to that faith Yes. Ukiwa na imani yako kwake kwa maana yeye alishinda. Hata wewe. Wewe utashinda. Amen. Si unyonge mbona tuseme kitu katika ulimwengu wa roho? Kila mtu ambaye anamsikia hautashindwa wewe ni mshindi. Amen. Huo ugonjwa hautakushinda. Amen. Hayo majaribu hayatakushinda. Amen. 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 You know why? It is because we have a priest. Amen. Yes. Who understands humanity? na alish alijaribiwa kwa kila hali na yeye akashinda because alishinda hata wewe hata mimi hata wewe na usiseme hiyo kwa sababu ya kusimua njiambia na yeye sio uko nazo because my priest alishinda nitaendelea kubii no matter what hebu sema na kizungu no matter what Kwa 
ajaribiwa unajua ukiona vitu kama hivyo ni wapo jana hivi tuone mtu akiona ndoto kama hizo kama hajui neno atampa asubuhi anaomotaka kana nisho sio mimi moyo oi mpaka na ndoto zangu oye mimi moyo mimi basi haoje ile ndoto tunaoka oye waje hiyo kitu we are priests ambao wazao we are priests no mimi najua vile mabebo wao ina frustrate kwa mabebo ikiona ikuwezi huku duniani huwa saa zingine na frustrate kwa kwa ngono na ndio sababu ninapokamatia kwa maana sio sema amen bwana asifiwe when you see some things like this one katika ndoto sakutisha baada ya mama unasikia roho ya mama hii kama nyinyi amko kwa hiyo na ukisomea kwa 16 tunasoma mara ya mwisho Richard tunasoma mara ya mwisho usome kwa 16 mara ya mwisho amen we are priests of God in the Lord kila hali na yeye akashinda amen soma hapa kwa mshirishi namba 16 he understands humanity anajua ya kwamba ulitishwa kasibu for as a man anajua kwamba walikaa chini wakasema wewe ni mwanamke mbaya hata ujitu pika ukali wakasema wewe ni mtu he understands all those things ndio mwanangu Jesus understands all those things Jesus understands all those things kusai kusai kujua ni kujua kwa mwanamke tu yeye ni anajua Daniel ana special anajua ni gani Bwana si mimi mwezikia mbona zangu? Tumesikia mbona zangu za mbona? Eh. Bwana hii mkinaelewa naomba kuna mambo mengi mafuru. Bali that thing is spiritual. Lakini mimi sio wakutisho. Kwa hiyo ndakisho mtu mwingine. Bwana si wewe. Amen. It is not because I am but by the spirit of Christ in here at Batia Wahi. Hallelujah. Are we together? Amen. So now we come freely and boldly to where love is enthroned. Why do you We come freely. So always because we are a priest. Let us cling to our faith and then always come. let us always come freely, freely and boldly, boldly to where love is enthroned. Where love is enthroned. Amen. 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 Anakusaidia Si kwamba you are wadi In fact we are so crude Na kujukua wachafu But true love Anakufigia Anakusaidia Let us come Freely and boldly to where love is enthroned Wewe niya upetiko zera Ukikana uko mbali Ambapo kiri Ambapo love Hayuko Zeme hayuko Zeme hayuko Bwana asifiwe. Are we together church? Waje niwaambie kaji tunawaambiaga we are ready. So tukalipie. Tukalipie mbili free bila kulipa jojote. Maana upendo anataka. Sema amen. Waje niwakumbushe ile kaji tunawaambiaga. Ukiwa unatembea tao si ushikebeni unaonanga mahali kuna party na inaandikwa present. Yes. Kama ujaoni hiyo kitu ninaomba. Unaenda kama unaona magari yamepakiwa 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 alafu unaenda mmoja unakuta imeondoa kitai hivi alafu ndio inaandikwa preserved preserved pale inaona imeanisha ni tafadhali kuniambia ndio ndio kwa specific person hiyo hiyo packing ya so person so watu wanataka baki aha i want you to say yes hiyo packing ya ni gari plan usijaribu kupaki hapa Sayo mwana hiyo ndani hiyo hiyo ikiwa paki ikiwa sasa ipo ngaliendeo 
inaweza kuwa iko na huku kisumu imeweza kama hapa ziko lakini so long as imeandikwa preserved itangojea gari leo kama turudi kwa maandiko yanasema so let us come really a free where i love where i love is a throne angalia kwa mbonyesha katika ulimwengu wa roho katika sehemu ambayo ni alafu ambayo ni wa peace unaitwa pati amen sasa shida ni kwamba pati yako richard iko katika ulimwengu wa roho lakini love anakungojea hapo lakini richard unazunguka huko mwandani hiyo gari inazunguka huko mwandani na pati inaona ni roho pani preserve sio hapa hapo kwa ambaye ni priest huwa tunaenda hapo by faith na ukifika hapo kuna mambo yatatendeka na leo uko hapo amen aha to receive mercy's kiss and discover the grace you will receive something when you when you come there mercy's kiss na kwa sababu umetoka nyumbani ulitoka nyumbani ukaja kwa church you will receive masaba hiyo kitu you will receive masis kiss and makoja masis kiss is it kiss kiss yeah uli kulize kuna mtu anaweza pika mtu kiss atakuwa na mvazingia hadi nimekuka zikia kabisa wala nafikia kiss hadi nimekuka zikia kwanza ile kupasikia na kupasikia hadi ni kutoa mmoja hakuna It's a <laughs> only you receive a holy kiss the kiss of love. Yeah. 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 Spiritual. Amen. That's your kiss of love. You are giving all the things that
ya kwamba Jesus knows your condition. Amen. Alitaji kuambiwa he understands humanity. What of it? Our priest understands humanity. Akijua ya kwamba wewe mtu umekuwa na kwa condition hiyo muda mrefu. Ile condition ambayo unasema umekuwa kwa muda mrefu Jesus knows. Na ukipatia nafasi kwa moyo wako and you believe atako atakupatia a love kiss yani yeye ndiye anasema atakuzuri hallelujah amen so read that in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 13 ndio tutipitishe vizuri yeye anajua kila kitu kwa wale wengine usikunde jambo chapter 14 Hebrews chapter 13 chapter 4 verse 13 inasema There is not one person who can hide their thoughts from God. Hakuna mtu anaweza kicha mawazo yake kutoka kwa Mungu. For nothing that we do remains a secret and nothing created is concealed but everything is exposed defenseless before his eyes. Sikia hiyo kwa point ya mwisho ndio inaongea ile point inataka. Everything is exposed everything is exposed and defenseless before his eyes so jesus knew that this man for that 80 years ago mm-hmm. in condition yes because everything is exposed before him ni kuna imani na jamii kuweka brother my sister ya kwamba everything is exposed before christ amen unaona sasa hii mungu anajua our brother ako na sister Amen. Everything is exposed. Amen. 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 Si unikaribie. Si unikaribie sentence ya kwao. Kiandikie sentence ya kwao. Si bwana mimi nimekuwa kwa hii situation muda mrefu. Bwana hata tukikaa chini wanasemanga mimi ni mbaya. Nimekaa kwa hii, eh? Nimekaa kwa hii. Si bwana uniangalie na mimi. Leo ni siku ya kuangaliwa. Ni yawa peace kuko na kwani ambaye alishinda na anaelewa all humanity. Bible yes. says basi aka alipo mwana amekaa hapo kwa muda mrefu kwa je unataka kupona that is the question i believe you risk our will be very for one big man and that lakini mimi nakwambia sio kwani kumbia je unataka kupona hiyo unataka na hiyo kupona unasema unaakisha unatibisha ni wapi unataka kupona maana kuna watu ambao si wagonjwa mwili lakini kuna sana watu na mahali kwa wao je unataka kupona bwana siko sana Now listen, kuna kosa na kama kuambia hapo because you know that story. Utamaduni wa Wayahudi ulikuwa unasema ati kibona mtu apone akiwa hapo Bethsaida. Ni lazima maji pale mimi. Hiyo ndio utamaduni. Tunasema because mtu apone wale watu wapo hapa lazima malaika akuje. Lakini hapa kupatokea mmoja ambaye afuatangi utamaduni. Anaitwa priest. Sikia Yesu huwa ana 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 kanzo protocol za watu. Sisi ni. Yesu ana kanzo protocol za watu. Ana kanzo protocol za taifa kama nchi ya Kenya. Akiamua kufanya kitu afuatangi protocol. Protocol hiyo inasema lazima maji maji nini? Ni lazima msichana akitaka kuolewa kwa hii ngoma. Aenda kwa ile shushua wa huko. Abudeme ma. Abudeme ma huko mbongo. Ko. Ah ah ah. Kwa ni utamaduni wa Kenya ati lazima maji fanye nini lakini when the priest comes anavunja hiyo taratibu yote ati mtu ndiposa afanye kazi kwa hita mungu lazima hawe anajuana lakini kibali kikuja juu yako ukipokea the grace kwa baba si lazima ujuane na mtu kwa hiyo kampuni utakuta umekita mizizi yako kwa hiyo kampuni mbona mzee mimi nadhani kwa atakatia hii maandiko kuielewa utaratibu ulikuwa unasema lazima maji ifanye kitu but yakatokea priest ambaye ataki taratibu ya wakati ataki taratibu ya wakama anataka tu mtu amwamini amuonyeshe nguvu zake na kwa sababu wewe unamwamini 
Yes. Si atapetapo utaratibu ya wajaru. Na kuonyeshe sasa utaratibu wa kiroho. Sema yeye kama sio pamoja. Maandiko yanasema hapa mambo ya msika mtu wa jana hiyo sote. Hata mshindo kusema unajua mimi, unajua mimi hata sinilisoma nikaachia shule standard of form. Kwa jana mambo ya hiyo. Unajua mimi hata sina sina kadi ya bei na sikata watu wako nazo. Kwani wanakulaka kadi? Kwa hiyo hizo watu hizo sio. Bora tu hakikisha unaoa. Lakini kwa wakati Hapana na leo oh humanity na usende kusema ati unatoa nini unatoa nini hata kuna mtu mwingine alisema kutoa shule ati sitawaje endelea kama walisema hivyo ikiwa unatoa kuna mtu siku moja alisema ati nitawai kule na ukasikia habari pia unaona kwa wanafu kwa hivyo usimuliwe hiyo vitu ni kuonyesha kwa na peace bwana asiye sana akamwambia chukua iko wapi Pasele. Pasi. Yesu akamwambia. Pasi. Yesu akamwambia. Sasa Sasa ni kama sasa iluka neno la imani pale hivi naomba iluka sasa uchukue mkeka wako wewe ni imani hata nikuuliza swali maana unaweza kusikia hiyo neno kitabu aliyeka imani ama hapo hizi za wapisi nataka uruke hapo usome kwa siku ile ziko ile uruke hapo mbele nita nisome kwa siku ile John chapter 5 verse 21 kama vile mbaba huwa anapea watu wai hata na yeye mwana anabana hivyo sasa mahali ambapo mapepo watu watu wengine hawakupendani ni watu wanapendani wanasema kifo bwana wetu ambaye ni priest anasema wai na kama vile bwana mbaba huwa anapea watu wai si ndio alikubea tunasikia kusema ati wai yule uko nao ndio Mungu alikubea kama vile baba upea watu wai na yeye mwana upea watu wai vile vile na kwa sababu Yesu akombani wako akuletee wai amen kuna vile mapepo huja kwa familia ya mtu ikazungumza mauti sasa tukianza kuomba sahi usijaribu kunyamaza sima hapo sema ninazungumza uhai ambao ni wa bwana wangu kwa afya yangu ninazungumza uhai wa bwana wangu kwa familia yangu bwana sikii basi ni basi or just like the, the father has power to raise the dead kama vile baba ako na uwezo wa kufua watu so the son will raise the dead and give life to whoever he wants you are one of those people about Jesus amen maisha yetu kiondoke na wewe wa Kristo unjaa katika maisha yako. Sema amen. Amen. Neno la imani. Imani tu ukiamini. 
Il a conduit. Pendant six ans. Et quand on sait qu'il passe 22, il a sept ans. Il a dit que John Tatawa est passé 22. Baba a mon coup de moutou et l'autre. Je vous l'ai dit, il y a un coup de moutou et l'autre. Il y a un coup de moutou et l'autre. Il y a un coup de moutou et l'autre. Kile wanake mweshimu mbaba Asi mweshimu mwana Amweshimu mbaba Ambale Ame mtu Wana shiko Mungu wa sayi Na wana mwana Nigiri na sema Asi mweshimu mwana Amweshimu mbaba Waike uyo ndini Inakuwa kanzo Kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
Na yeye akana mamlaka juu ya wote wenye mwili. Atuishi huko kwa nguvu zetu. Atuishi huko kwa masomo yetu. Atueleni kidogo kwa uweza wetu. Tunaenda kwa msaada wake yeye ambaye ni kwani wetu. Yeye akakupatia uzima. Amen. The Bible says atuta soma John chapter 10 verse inasema verse 9 inasema wale waliokuja mbele yangu ni wezi na wanyanyana lakini nimekuja mimi ili muwe na uzima na uzima tele tele we have a priest wa Mungu huyo priest ni atakufungusia magonjwa is here Amen. <laughs> Do you know what Angus will give back? No. Hapa ni ongea kesi mimi. Acha ni ongea na. Ninauliza hivi. Tuko mwaka wa 2020? Tuko mwezi wa kati? Unajua kwa sababu tisa utazaa nini? Kwa sababu usiku ujui kile kitazaliwa mwezi wa 4. Fanya hivi. Just keep to your faith and your face not to be. Na mimi pia aika. Sijaribu kuniambia hapa ni 2020. Ah, I am a priest. Kama unataka kutia kisha watu wengine, I have a priest. Kwa hivyo niwambie, so long as nitaishi kwa hivyo mia, nitaishi kwa hivyo. Nikiishi nyaka wandati mwena niku, lakini yote mungu wa nisaidia. Nitaka, nijamini priest. We are reading the last verses in chapter 17. Kina soma masinai, wabu tamatisha. John, hiyo tupaki kina soma, John 17, verse 9, luka, luka. I pray for them. Skiza hapa kwani anatuombea. Hata si yule baza anambia baza anatuombea. Baza wetu anatuombea. Our priest is praying. Anasema hivi. I pray for them. Nina waombea. Tunasoma verse verse 9. I pray not for the world. Siombei ulimwengu. But for them which thou hast given me. Ila na waombea wale ulio nipa. Hebu niwaulize watu wa Mungu. Hisa I pray for them. What of faith? Amen. Okay. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Sio mbeyu ni mwingu. For them which thou hast given me. Maana ila wale ulio nipa. For they are thine. Maana ni wako basi. And all mine are thine. Yote ambalo nilio nayo ni yako. And the thine are mine. Na yale ambao ni yako ni yangu. And I have glorified in them. Na umeonekana katika wao nilipa. Verse 11 And now I am no more in the world And I lay in your verse Verse 11 And I lay in your verse 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 Verse 11 And now I am no more in the world Sasa mimi siko tena umuwezo Yesu wa nazema I want you physical I want you physical from now Sita kuwa physically in the world But these are the world. Lakini mama so and so na brother so and so na pasa mchiso they are where? In the world. So and I come to you. Sasa mimi baba ni nakuja huko kwa. Holy Father I pray. Baba mtakatifu ni naomba. Keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me. Kupitia jina lako ambalo umenipa waweke salama. That they may be one. Because our Lord Jesus Christ is one. Come to come to God. That is the one. Sikia mimi Yesu anaomba maombi ya mwisho. Anaomba duniani. Na sisi tuko duniani. Huko ndio unasikia hapa ati wachawi wanachukua mchanga yako. Kuna ngoma yako ilipotea kutiwa kwa mkana. Mtu chake mtu mwingine si. 
na nimeisikia vizuri nikasema waje nini ndio 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 Nimekuja hapa ambapo kuna pendo lako. Alafu ukisema hivyo, anza kutangaza, anza kutangaza hiyo challenge yako hapo. Na tiiti ya zone sickness niweke hapo. Sema familia, sema my sister mgonjwa, sema my parents, sema basi unamaliza. Atakishia Mungu Yesu Kristo. Yes, to receive mercies, peace and discover the grace we urgently need to strengthen us in our time of weakness then we discover oh, yes. the grace we need oh God yes. this is a one of faith 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 apapo mtu akiamini ili neno linamzalia upendaji wake Jesus Christ our priest Kwa wewe wewe ni Yesu Kristo. Wewe anaelewa jamani 